Hello everyone, it's me, Emily, and I'm happy to see you again. Some time ago I made a poll on YouTube asking what character you would like to see, and 45% of people voted for a big secret project I have in mind. But the thing is that this project is just too large, so I've decided to work on it on the side while I do other projects. Like the second most popular option, Storm, my favorite X-Lady. I started with removing the doll's hair and makeup with acetone and then removed the fangs and ears using a knife and sandpaper. As a base for Storm I picked Claudia who is quite unique because she is one of the rare monster high dolls who have an adult body and a huge expressive smile which I love. I wanted to customize her for quite some time already. Storm has long white hair, that's why this time I've decided to go for rerouting. It's actually my first time working with nylon and I thought that if I give her very full hair the skin won't shine through but sadly it was still visible in the end so I painted her head with white acrylics afterwards. This hair color is called Snowflake and I love it so much because if you look closer it's a mixture of matte white and shiny half transparent hair. A nice little detail that's not visible at first. When the hair is done I covered it with plastic wrap and paper tape and the rest with a sock. No worries, it's a clean sock which is too small for me to wear anyways. Afterwards I sprayed her with Mr. Super Clear, started layering the color and sealing the progress from time to time. Let me know in the comments what you think about Storm and the X-Men franchise. For me personally it's soft and cozy memories of coming back from school, turning on the TV and watching cartoons with snacks and our little puppy napping on my lap. And as kids usually do, I liked imagining who I would like to be if I went outside to play with the other kids like we are superheroes. And I always wanted to be Storm, because she is not only beautiful but also brave and strong, what I always wanted to be when I grow up, you know. And yes, I am so old that back then we still played outside. And don't you dare to screw my Zimmer frame to the floor. This face up was pretty much inspired by fan art from Douglas Vicalo. I hope it's correct. <laughs> I tried to get uh, that glowing effect around the eyes and cute red blush from his works, but still give my own twist to it. Usually I prefer to get done as much as possible out of pastels and watercolor pencils and use acrylics only for highlights and places where I can't get a strong enough color. This time I wanted to have a lot of reflections and high contrast for something like a comic look.
And as a final touch I also added glowing in the dark paint for her irises. At first I wanted to make the 1990s white outfit, which is the most iconic in my opinion, but after I was done with the face up I thought that the black one with wings will look better on her. I am still thinking maybe I should make the white outfit for her as well and switch them sometimes? Or maybe even make a second storm? Would you be interested? I decided to make the body out of stretchy leather, which is a pretty stable material, so I didn't need to do anything with the edges and left allowances just for the actual seams. And usually when you are sewing clothes you need to iron each seam to make it nice and flat, but you are not allowed to iron leather, neither real nor artificial. So instead of ironing people are just gluing the seam allowances in order to make them keep their form. If you have a leather jacket or bag at hand, you can have a look inside and check this. Back then, when I studied at university, I did that a lot as a part of my assignments and oftentimes just out of curiosity, because there are no clothes made the same. And you can always pick up some tips. For the boots I used the same leather as for the body and made them the same way I made the boots for 2B. And I still think that 2B is actually my best doll so far, so if you haven't seen it yet, you can check it out if you like. I also plan to make 9S in the future and more male dolls in general, like for example Goro Majima, my guilty pleasure. I bought a doll for him a long time ago, but uh, I'm a bit scared to draw all of the tattoos he has. We will see, I have so many ideas, but so little time. I'm actually awful with time management, you know, but uh, I'm trying to optimize my working process to deliver more content to you in the future, like working on a few projects at the same time or mixing some simpler projects. If I am even capable to make something simple, <laughs> lol. <laughs>
For example, Storm was planned as a simple project, but I ended up sewing everything by hand and spending hours on painting it. But I don't really regret it, because I feel special satisfaction from trying to make stuff in the best quality possible, and there is no better feeling to me than holding the product of your work in hands and feeling proud of it. I still find some little things to complain about, but I believe with time they will be less and less, because I learn all of the time and try to get better in everything I do. Who knows, maybe I need therapy. I'm actually a quite anxious person who is tempted to overthink everything, but when I'm working on dolls it really helps me to escape reality and turn my brain off. Sometimes I think I worked for half an hour, but in fact it was 4 hours and only my music playlist reminds me of how late it is. And because of that I often feel like I don't do enough or not well enough. And luckily I've got a nice community and you people are writing me so many nice and supportive comments and some people even taking their time to come to my Instagram DMs to show their support and I appreciate it a lot. It really helps me to move on. I feel especially happy when I see the same people coming back and leave comments. It feels like seeing my old friends again. I have quite a good memory and uh, I'm trying to remember as many people as I can and what they said. I also remember all of the promises I gave, like making Overwatch characters or some complex body modifications, but unfortunately all of these characters I planned to make are from Blizzard. And after what happened with Blizzard recently, I wasn't sure how to feel about them and if I even want to make anything from Blizzard again. Now, a few months later, I calmed down a bit and I think I will continue working on Symmetra and we could discuss what happened and how to deal with it because Blizzard meant a lot to me and was my biggest inspiration ever, but I'll tell more about that in the Symmetra video. <laughs>
Now let's have a look at Storm, who is finally done. There were not so many details this time, and I'm still wondering how the white outfit would have looked on her. Shall we make one? Tell me if you are interested, and remember that I'm always there for you in the comments if you have questions or just wanna talk. I am reading everything and checking comments every day. It was nice to see you again. See you in the next video. Bye!